In today's video, we're answering a viewer question. Tyler K asks us, why does soda taste worse when it's flat? A notion that will come as a surprise to just about no one is that most people think soda and other carbonated drinks taste significantly better when they still contain a lot of fizz as opposed to when they are flat. It turns out that, contrary to popular belief, this phenomenon has nothing to do with bubbles popping on your tongue or anything like that. In fact, when people drink carbonated beverages in a highly pressurized environment where no bubbles can form, they report no real difference in flavor of the drink. So, why do many fizzy drinks taste better? than their flat equivalents. Well, it's simply because the carbonic acid H2CO3 created via adding carbon dioxide CO2 to the drink, which obviously in turn contains H2O, actually has a tangible taste that your tongue can detect and which accents the flavor of the beverage. Thus, as these beverages are designed to taste good in their carbonated form, removing the flavor imparted by the CO2 is usually going to negatively impact the taste. Of course, this doesn't inherently mean a worse overall flavor for any liquid that is not carbonated versus the same drink that is. But because many carbonated beverages like popular sodas tend to have a lot of sugar or equivalent artificial sweetener, when the CO2 is removed, the extreme sweet flavor ends up standing out quite a bit more, usually more than most people enjoy. The net result of all of this is many people not enjoying the taste of flat sodas. On a similar note, in order to narrow down the mechanisms behind the taste derived from carbonating beverages, researchers use mice that have been genetically modified to not be able to taste variously sweet, umami, salty, bitter, and sour. What they found was that those mice that could not taste sour did not react to carbonation, while all the others did. Examining why CO2 triggers sour tasting receptors, the researchers hypothesized, correctly as it turns out, that a special enzyme on the surface of sour tasting cells, carbonic anhydrase 4, also known as CAR4, might be the culprit. Once again, experimenting on modified mice, this time removing only the CAR4 but not the entire sour tasting cell they found that gustatory responses to CO2 were severely reduced, but responses to other taste stimuli, including sour, were unaltered. And now for a bonus fact. While manufacturers put the same amount of CO2 in cans as bottles of soda, when placed in plastic, which is more permeable to CO2, the carbonation will dissipate relatively quickly over time. In fact, if stored in direct sunlight in three months, soda in plastic can lose up to 15% of its carbonation. Cans of soda, on the other hand, can have their taste affected by bits of metal that are dissolved from the inner lining, and again, the warmer the container, the greater the effect. This is one of the reasons many people have preferences when drinking soda from glass versus plastic versus metal containers. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you're looking for something else to watch right now, why not check out our video, Does Tapping a Can of Shaken Can Soda Actually Reduce the Fizz? Find a link to that on the screen now, as well as in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching.